Falski & Associates works with a variety of industries in a number of ways to address dust hazard analysis, or DHAs, and other combustible dust testing. One company needed a combustible dust hazard test to prepare for an upcoming AHJ inspection. Because they worked with hay, a large particle size with high moisture content, they didn't think there would be an issue in terms of explosivity. However, most materials have a tendency to break off into small particles that lose moisture, and in this company's case, these smaller particles were found to be explosible after the combustible tests. FAI has heard many cases like this one and works with you to prevent the possibility of an explosion in your workplace using a data-backed approach and a state-of-the-art lab to solve complex safety problems. Explosion events occur in a wide range of industries and involve many types of combustible dusts, including grain elevators, manufacturing facilities, even coal-fired power plants. When developing mitigation strategies for hazardous or combustible dusts, it's important to characterize the hazard risk of the material in question by determining its explosion severity and ignition sensitivity. Explosion severity data will determine if an explosion hazard exists, and if so, how energetic it may be, while ignition sensitivity data will assess the probability of risk based on how the material responds to the heat, spark, impact, and frictional forces. Depending on how the material responds, there's a step-by-step -step process of tests to ensure safety precautions can be implemented. Some of these include the explosion severity test. This determines values necessary for designing protective measures, such as deflagration venting. The minimum explosible concentration, or MEC test, identifies the minimum hazardous concentration of a dust cloud that will sustain combustion. There are also tests to determine what operating temperature or oxygen concentration would invoke dust cloud explosion. We recommend starting with the basic go-no-go -no -go screening test. It's generally performed with samples tested according to the standard at 95% less than 75 micrometers, but we're happy to test them as received and can apply the results to real-world scenarios at your facility. Being world leaders in process safety, we ensure that we understand your process and recommend and communicate the proper testing for your specific needs by providing expert, custom, and full-service safety recommendations.